So in that vein, we can just jump right in. My first involvement with PLCs was in 2009. And in one year immediately saw how a staff can come together and can make a drastic difference in student learning. A PLC is really any group of professionals working together around a common goal. It's typically grade level or job alike teachers looking at student achievement data and setting goals for how to improve. Everything from logistical things to um, academics where we kind of hone exit tickets, formative, summative assessments, um, to also just supporting each other as teammates and in, as teachers. The answer was supposed to have a zero in it and they left the zero off. I got a lot of 1.2s from kids who should have gotten this correctly. Working in PLCs has um, really helped build me up and help with a lot of guidance. We definitely share the workload, resources, bouncing ideas off of each other, and collaboration is, is key. As a grade level, the students in each individual class don't just belong to that one teacher, they belong to every single teacher in the grade level. We're a team working to move not only our students, but every student in fifth grade. We know that each teacher has a different relationship with every kid, and so the more people that work with that kid that can offer ideas and support, um, just really supports the classroom teacher in creating plans to help them improve either academically or social emotionally. All of us working together um, to benefits the student because you know you really have people who are focused on what each specific student needs um, for them to make that individual growth. Would you say that for this area for growth that it was a misconception that needs to be addressed or a small error? Mm -hmm. For example, just looking at the data just now, I can see clearly that Evan was really successful with division. So I'm gonna pick his brain and um, ask him about what made him so successful with that skill. And um, further discussion, I know that he would even be willing to come into the classroom where I could send kids to him to work with as well. And now we get to talk about the fun part, which is areas for growth. Seeing the work that Bethel is doing um, with professional learning communities, with Solution Tree and with Mike Matos, it's allowing us to take not just the idea of working together as a PLC, but then refining what is the work we're doing? What are the critical points? What do we want to get out of this? And how are we seeing that and the results from that in our student work? There's so much evidence of our work with Mike Meadows. I really feel like it was the missing puzzle piece to the systems that we had in place here. Most of my students were understanding the multiplication pretty well. A couple of small computational errors. Teachers immediately after Mike Meadows were, uh, my staff was saying, let's do this, let's, two days. We need a day for math, we need a day for reading. I'm humping the brakes going, hold on, let's just get one day started. I mean, it was a, it's a big task. It's, reinventing the schedule. Um, it's, it's kind of blowing some parts of the day up and reorganizing it so teachers can focus on the, the specific work that kids need, um, bringing the entire building together. That was a trend I was yeah, noticing, so I wanted to actually look at student work to make um, that assumption. Yeah, absolutely. I think this year specifically, being the first year back in the classroom full time, we really did need to hone in in what students really, really need to be successful in the next grade level. So focusing on that essential standards work has been a way for us to really have permission to dive into what we know students need to be successful. The evidence of that work is everywhere. It's in our classrooms, it's in our um, gym during PE, it's in our hallways during passing periods. I had worked at different places that didn't have PLC structures like we have here and I think it really just provides a supportive environment um, to grow, to push yourself, to learn, um, to gain from everyone's different experiences um, and backgrounds that they bring to each grade level.